grade is just slope. You'll see this sign on really steep roads. Uh, it's a way to measure slope. So we know what slope is. Slope and grade are both rise over run. The difference is grade is a percent. So the run is always going to be compared to 100, just like you do a percentage. So think about what you do when you find the percent on an assignment. Um, you're going you're gonna to find the rise. That would be like the number you got possible on an assignment. You're going to find the run. That's like the total possible. And you're going to divide them and make it a percent, a number over 100. So you know, what we need here to find the grade is the rise and the run. I'll call the rise X and the run Y. And uh, what we know is that X is the opposite. We have the hypotenuse, 3,434. And we remember so katoa. And opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So we're going to say that the sine of 12 degrees is equal to the opposite x over the hypotenuse, 3, 4, 3, 4. And put this over 1 and cross multiply x times 1. x equals 3,434 times the sine of 12 degrees. Let's do the same thing for y. y is the adjacent. And again, the hypotenuse is 3,434. Adjacent and hypotenuse, that would be cosine, C. So the cosine of 12 degrees is equal to the adjacent Y over the hypotenuse, 3,434. And again, we'll cross multiply and Y will equal 3, 4, 3, 4 times the cosine of 12. Now, we know that grade is rise over run. Rise divided by run. So the rise was x, 3,434 times the sine of 12. And the run was y, 3,434 times the cosine of 12. And look at that, those cancel, that's handy. And we'll divide those on a calculator. The sine of 12 divided by the cosine of 12, hopefully you're in degrees, is about 0.2125. So to the nearest percent, it's about 0.21. Now, 0.21 as a percent, remember that's 21 hundredths, 21 over 100, which is 21%.